Cabinet reshuffle, New Don or New Yang. President Cyril Ramaphosa's rejigged cabinet has been celebrated by some and scorned by others. The ANC and its political allies were predictably supportive of the move which was done in consultation with the tripartite alliance including the SA Communist Party and Trade Union Federation COSATU. The DEFF and UDM were less complimentary. All three criticized Ramaphosa for not being tough enough on those accused of wrongdoing. The return of Praveen Gorthan and Anne Lanla Nene was welcomed but that was where the praise ended. President Cyril Ramaphosa's announcement of his new cabinet this evening illustrates that the problem in our nation lies with the ANC itself said the leader Muzi Maimana. The ministers who make up Ramaphosa's compromised and partially captured cabinet show what we've known all along, it's about the ANC and connected Cotters first and the interests of South Africa second. Ramaphosa on Monday announced about a dozen changes to his executive ousting a large chunk of Jacob Zuma's administration. Among those who got the axe were, Police Minister Fakil Mbalula Public Administration Minister Faith Muth MB State Security Minister Bongani Bongo and Mineral Resources Minister Mosbanza Zwain. But some controversial figures remained. David Mabuza was controversially appointed Deputy President. We view it as a mere realignment of corrupt and state-capture delinquent ministers. No one with the best interests of South Africa today could have Maluzi Gigabanamvila Makanyanbethavile Dlamini as cabinet members and ministers the EFF said in a statement. Bethavile Dlamini has essentially been rewarded with a promotion into the presidency regardless of the fact that she nearly collapsed the social grant system for the poor. Above all is Gigaba whose state capture crimes come close to treason as he facilitated the handing over of state institutions to a foreign nationals in the form of the Guptas. Other politicians and plebs also weighed in. Yeah.